Here are the best things to do in Dunedin, New Zealand. Number 15. Dip into the past at Tuitu Otago's Settlers Museum. Are you ready to take a trip through time and explore the rich history of Dunedin? Look no further than the Tuitu Otago Settlers Museum. This museum, known as New Zealand's oldest history museum, was set up in 1898 and offers an immersive experience that brings the past to life. From the early Maori inhabitants and European settlers to more modern history, there's something for everyone. The interactive displays, replica models, and activities for children make it a great activity for families. With 14 themed galleries and over 100,000 items on display, you'll learn about the Gold Rush era, the settlement of Scottish Presbyterians, and the bravery, strength, and commitment of Dunedin's early settlers. Plus, you'll get to explore a recreated ship's cabin and a thatch and daub cottage. Trust us, you won't get bored. Number 14. Live your Bridgerton fantasy at Larnock Castle. Step into a fairy tale and visit New Zealand's only castle, Larnock Castle, built in 1871 by Scottish merchant and politician William Larnock. This grand structure has been restored to its original Victorian grandeur. The 3,000 square foot ballroom is sure to take your breath away and the tower offers sweeping views of the Otago Peninsula. The castle also boasts beautiful gardens, fascinating artifacts from around the world, and even high tea at 3 p.m. every day. The castle has a tragic history as Larnick led a tragic life, with both his wife and favorite daughter dying young. In 1898, he committed suicide, but don't let that dampen your spirits. The castle's history is rich, and the restoration project done by the Barker family in 1967 is a marvel. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for a unique and beautiful experience, Larnack Castle is a must-see attraction in Dunedin. Number 13. Cruise to see albatrosses and blue penguins. Are you ready to spot some of the most unique and rare birds in the world? Look no further than the Royal Albatross Center in Dunedin, New Zealand. This wildlife observatory offers a chance to see the only mainland breeding colony of northern royal albatross in the world with a 10-feet wingspan. You'll also have the chance to see little blue penguins, also known as fairy penguins, return from a day of fishing at sunset. The center is located on a private reserve and offers 60-minute guided tours that are both informative and allows you to get as close as possible to the birds. In addition to the albatross and penguins, you may also spot native birds like red-billed gulls, royal spoonbills, rare Stewart Island shag, and southern fur seals. Number 12. Walk the Dunedin Street Art Trail. Get ready to see Dunedin in a whole new light. The city is home to a vibrant street art scene with a number of renowned overseas and local artists bringing parts of the city to life with beautiful murals, funky paintings, and even pieces reminiscent of Banksy. The Dunedin Street Art Trail begins at 76 Vogel Street and showcases over 80 colorful pieces dotted throughout the city, all commissioned by volunteer artists. Some highlights include Chasing the Thin White Cloud by Australian artist Fenton McGee, Toothfish at 8 Wharf Street, and a giant Ed Sheeran mural just off George Street. Whether you want to walk the whole trail or just explore the high concentration of art around Vogel Street, you're sure to be impressed by the creativity and beauty of these pieces. Number 11. Walk the Tunnel to Dunedin's Most Famous Beach when you think of Dunedin, you may not immediately think of the stunning and photogenic Tunnel Beach, but this popular destination is definitely worth a visit. This spectacular beach is famous for its photogenic sandstone cliffs and sea caves, carved by the sea over thousands of years. There's a lovely 1.2-mile walking track that takes you to a rock tunnel, which was carved by hand in the 1870s, giving access to the gorgeous beach on the other side. The tunnel has several steps inside, which can get very slippery, so be careful. The beach on the other side is sheltered, and if it wasn't for the large crowds, it would seem like you've discovered a secret beach. The entire area is great for fossil fossicking, and from the cliffs, there are incredible panoramic views across the southern ocean. Number 10. Talk to Parrots at the Botanic Gardens Dunedin Botanic Gardens is a must-see attraction for nature lovers visiting the city. The garden, which is the first botanic gardens in New Zealand, boasts a wide variety of flora from the southern hemisphere, including a stunning rose garden, a greenhouse filled with tropical plants and flowers, and a native plant trail where you can learn about the traditional uses of 21 native plants. 
by the Naitahu Maori tribe. This historic garden, established over 150 years ago, is a great place to escape the city and stroll through nature while learning about the plants that call New Zealand home. Number 9. Check out the steepest street in the world. Take a walk or drive on the wild side and check out Baldwin Street in Dunedin, the steepest street in the world according to the Guinness Book of Records. This residential street was built at a shocking angle with a gradient of 34.8%, making it a must-see destination for anyone visiting the city. Take a classic photo op at the top and say you've conquered the steepest street in the world. While it may not be the main draw card of Dunedin, it's a unique and interesting attraction that you won't find anywhere else. Just be prepared to wonder how the residents managed to get their cars up the hill. Number 8. Enjoy a scenic train ride through the Taieri Gorge. Take a step back in time and experience one of the most scenic train journeys in the world with the Taieri Gorge Railway in Dunedin. Departing from the historic Dunedin Railway Station, this vintage rail journey takes you on a four-and-a-half-hour journey through stunning bridges, tunnels, and untouched New Zealand landscapes. The highlight of the journey is the Wingatui Viaduct, the second-largest operational iron structure in the world. The train ride offers the perfect opportunity to snap some Instagram-worthy photos, experience an antique train, and go off the beaten path. Along the way, you'll pass through some of Dunedin's neighborhoods, into the Taieri Plains, and finally to the final stop, Taieri Gorge. On the return journey, you'll pass through Dunedin countryside, mostly farmland, where you might spot some farm animals from your window seat. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 7. Wet Your Whistle at Emerson's Brewery Dunedin's Emerson's Brewery is a must-visit spot for beer lovers. Established in 1992 by Richard Emerson, it is one of the only microbreweries in the city and produces a wide range of seasonal and year-round beers, catering to both local and international customers. Take a guided tour to learn about the beer-making process and finish off with a tasting paddle at Emerson's Classic Brews. The tap room also offers a delicious menu of bar snacks, sharing plates, and lunch dishes. With 15,000 liters of premium craft beer produced daily, there's plenty to see and sip at Emerson's Brewery. Number 6. Enjoy the Lan Yuan Dunedin Chinese Garden the Dunedin Chinese Garden, also known as Lan Yuan, is a stunning example of a late Ming, early Qing dynasty scholar's garden. Curated to celebrate Dunedin's Chinese heritage, these authentic gardens offer a peaceful and beautiful reprieve from city life. Visitors can explore the central Chang Yuan Pavilion, also known as the Heart of the Gardens, or relax in the tea house and take in the scenery. The garden is a great way to learn about Chinese culture and history as all the rock, wood, and roof tiles were imported from China. It's also the only authentic Chinese garden in the Southern Hemisphere, making it a must-see attraction for visitors to Dunedin. Number 5. Visit the Famous Moraki Boulders One of the best day trips from Dunedin is to the famed Moraki Boulders on a beach near the provincial town of Moraki. These 50 smooth, spherical boulders are a magical sight on the otherwise lonely sweep of beach, looking like leftover marbles from a game played by giants. The largest of the boulders weighs 50 tons and some are even 3 meters wide. These boulders are actually concretions or ball-shaped masses of hard matter that were once part of the coastline cliffs but were left behind as the cliffs eroded over millions of years. While the origins of these boulders remain a mystery, they're definitely worth a visit to see with your own eyes. Number 4. Visit Port Chalmers Want to escape the hustle and bustle of the city? Look no further than the charming village of Port Chalmers, just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Dunedin. This historic hotspot is packed with culture, with a vibrant art scene that will have you seeing double with all the potters, sculptors, painters, musicians, and jewelers on display. It's no wonder it's a popular weekend destination for locals and visitors alike. But it's not just about the art. This small town is also home to a deep water harbor that's seen its fair share of action, including being a stop for Antarctic expeditions and a hub for the colonization of Otago. And let's not forget the Port Chalmers Seafaring Museum, where you can learn all about the history of this port town and the pioneers who settled it. Number 3. Cycle Down Signal Hill, or Just Enjoy the Views 
Signal Hill in Dunedin is the ultimate spot for sunset lovers, adrenaline junkies, and city slickers alike. If you're feeling ambitious, tackle the hill on foot or with a mountain bike and enjoy panoramic views of the Otago Peninsula and the city. The summit is marked by a monument commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Treaty of Waitangi, which includes a piece of rock from Edinburgh Castle as a gift from Scotland. The climb is worth it, as the views from the top are spectacular and offer the perfect way to reflect on your time in Dunedin. Just beware, it can get pretty windy up there, so hold on to your hats and your cameras. Number 2. Grab a photo opportunity at Lover's Leap. Take a walk on the wild side with a hike to Lover's Leap and the chasm in Dunedin. This scenic trail on Sandy Mount Road offers a stunning payoff with dramatic cliffs, natural flora, and breathtaking ocean views. The trail leads to the sea arch known as Lover's Leap and the chasm, which is a must-see photo opportunity. Whether you're a photography enthusiast or just looking for a fun and easy hike, Lover's Leap and the Chasm is a must-visit spot in Dunedin for nature lovers and adventure seekers. So grab your camera, lace up your hiking boots, and let's go on a wild ride! Number 1. Fill your basket at Otago Farmer's Market If you're looking for a delicious and authentic taste of Dunedin, look no further than the Otago Farmer's Market, held every Saturday at the historic Dunedin Railway Station. This market is a foodie's paradise, featuring an array of local vendors selling everything from breads and nuts to cheese, honey, and baked goods. You can also find plenty of food options to enjoy on the go, including crepes, bagels, juice, Asian options, and a mouth-watering Middle Eastern van. And with a focus on sustainability, the market even has a cup stand where you can borrow a cup grab a coffee, and then return it again, avoiding the use of disposables. Click here for more things to do in New Zealand.